Hi everyone! Today I will show you how to play Rise of Kingdoms on PC in the best conditions possible. First of all, I need to tell you that the game is normally not available on PC, but this trick is perfectly authorized by the game's developers. At Jamubi, we use it daily to play many games, so rest assured you don't risk getting any ban or penalty if you follow this guide. Let's go! For this tutorial, we will use an Android emulator, specifically Bluestacks. Playing on an emulator allows you to save your phone battery and thus not reduce its lifespan, while also enjoying better performances and graphics. You can play just as well with your mouse or your keyboard. We've picked Bluestacks because it is by far the most performant and secure emulator on the market. It is of course totally optimized for mobile games, and Bluestacks is available on Mac and PC with a minimum setup of 2GB of RAM and 5GB of drive space. Needless to say, it is compatible with Windows 10 and updated regularly. Let's move on to the installation guide of Rise of Kingdoms on PC. First, use the link now displayed on screen. I also wrote it down for you in the description, for practical reasons. Then, click on Play on Bluestacks 5 in order to download Bluestacks Installation Wizard. Install it like you would with any other software and launch it. The emulator will now prompt you with a message to link your Google account in order to download your game. No surprise, just follow the classic connection route. I advise you to use the same account as the one you use on your phone, so you can get your game progression back easily. Now, look for Rise of Kingdoms in the Play Store and install it like you would with any mobile game. Launch the game and accept all authorization requests because the emulator is detected as a new phone. You can now connect to your account by clicking on Log with another account in the top right corner and choose your Facebook account or Google account. Otherwise, pick a civilization and start a brand new adventure. By default, there are some pre-configured shortcuts, so here is how to edit them easily. Click on the keyboard in the sidebar, then on Open Advanced Editor, which will now open the Command Edition panel. Click on one of the shortcuts that you wish to edit to assign a new key to it. You can also move the shortcut around by holding your left click on it and dragging. If you want to add new shortcuts, it is equally simple. Drag the element Tap Spot to the area of your choice and indicate the key that you wish to assign to it. You are now ready to play Rise of Kingdoms in the best conditions. Some small tips now of how you can adjust the emulator's performances to adapt them to your own PC. To do this, you must click on the cog in the sidebar in the bottom right corner, then on the Performance tab. You can allocate up to 4 processor cores and 4GB of RAM to it. If your PC allows for it and you wish to edit the FPS count, activate the option High Frame Rates in order to select the number of images per second that you wish to display on screen. You can also edit the screen resolution. To do so, move to the Display tab. You will then get to pick between three display modes, Portrait, Landscape, and Custom. If you own a powerful PC, you can choose the 320 dpi option to get the most detailed image possible. Last tip, Bluestacks allows you to launch your game in several instances, which is ideal if you wish to play several games at the same time or want to use several accounts on a single game, because I see you farmers. Close Bluestacks and search for Bluestacks 5 Multi-Instance Manager on your computer, then click on New Instance and select the option Clone Instance. Then pick two different instances and click Start to launch Bluestacks in two different instances. As simple as that. There you go, you now have two instances of Bluestacks up and ready. All that's left to do is to connect two different ROK accounts. Have fun! If you encounter any performance issue, lag or crashes, I strongly recommend that you check out our article in the description on how to optimize Bluestacks. The most common problem is that virtualization may not be activated on your processor. To check whether it is activated or not, open the Task Manager with Control shift escape and move to the Performance tab, then to Processor. You will see right there whether virtualization is already active or not. If it isn't, read our article to learn how to activate it. That's all, guide over! See you guys soon for another video, and until then, take care, subscribe, give this a thumbs up if you liked it, and tell me in the comments how the tutorial went for you. Bye!